Hello and welcome. Today I show you how you can make Windows 11 automatically log in when you start it. You see here it's asking me for a username and password, but it doesn't have to be like that. You type in the start menu reg edit or register editor and you open this program. I will put the path where you're supposed to go in the description. It's basically you have to go to computer, your local computer, HK local machine software, Microsoft, Windows NT current version, Win Logon. And when when you go to Win Logon in this folder here, I will put the the key name, default username. You should create a, a new value there with a value type string. And the value will be the actual username that you want to log on on the machine. And then you create another key here, a type string, default password. And you will put the password there also, which is going to be plain text, so it's not so great. Auto admin logon, and you set it to one. And these three keys will enable your computer to automatically start when you automatically re log in when you restart the computer, like now, for example, watch it log in. You see, I didn't have to do anything for this. It did the logon automatically to the user I said. If you want to disable this, you can go to the same path, the path I will put in the description, and you change the auto admin logon to zero or you remove the three keys and you should be fine. It, now it's asking for username and password just like before. And here I did the auto admin logon to zero and it automatically deleted the the key. So if you want to if you want to re-enable this feature you have to recreate the keys. Default username, default password and auto admin logon. It's not a big deal. One of them was also already, it was still, it was uh, already there, but you have to check that these values exist before you enable your uh, automatic login. I hope this video helps you. Let me know in the comment section below if you already use the Windows 11 on your main computer, which you shouldn't be really doing. It is a test version for now. But soon there will be a version available for everyone, so then you might be able to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Let me know if you want to see more about that. Subscribe, like and share, and I will see you next time. Bye.